Good morning, everybody. Jake Raby here, Flat Six Innovations, coming to you with a little live Flat Six Minute this morning. Uh, getting ready to put the final touches on Bill's R40 at 4.0 liters here. And even though we've already done the, the quality control work on the crankcase, it's time to double check everything from running clearances uh, all the way through more surface finish testing just to make sure everything's the way it's supposed to be. So here is Bill's crankcase. It's been uh, completely prepped and detailed. I have the other crankcase half over here. And here we have a surface finish test that we're doing called uh, using a profilometer, okay? So this is an advanced tool. Uh, this is not something you're going to find at the cheap shops, not something that people even understand unless they have an advanced level of understanding about surface finish technology and what it takes to create the proper surface finish for a crankcase. So this block is fitted with Ellen Engineering Nicosil cylinders, Nikki's. Uh, in 101 millimeter size and we developed this with Ellen Engineering back in 1999 as far as the process goes with the Nicosil plating and um, there's a lot of cheaper ways to do it but we think this is the best way today so uh, what we have here is just a bit of a uh, screenshot if you will of the surface finish of Bill's cylinder and this is actually measured in micro inches so this will go down to a millionth of an inch believe it or not so uh, this little tool is great and it's an industry standard for doing this surface finish technology uh, testing so we've been using this a lot through the sumobore testing and um, you know we've come up with our own values for a lot of these things and with the nicosil it's important that we have the proper surface finish so the engine breaks in properly uh, and it has a long life there's a lot of different ways you can go about this so this gives us a little bit of an idea of what the surface finish actually looks like if you plot it out and what you're looking at is this kind of crosshatch pattern that you see here. This is not something you see with an original cylinder. Um, the sumo bore cylinders we're working on have this, but it's very, very faint because they're a lot more smooth in the way that they're designed to operate. Um, but anyway, this little stylus here actually drags across the surface. And I'll try to zoom in a little bit on that. It's not very easy to do with the surface being so shiny, but basically uh, that stylus comes across that finish and it tells us what we've got for several different aspects of the surface finish. First of all, we have a roughness average and then we have the valley difference and we have basically the peaks and the valleys. So what you're looking at here is how deep the valleys are in the cylinder, which is the RVK. Then you have the roughness of the peaks, which is the RPK. And we want roughly about 10 values between those, which is exactly what we've got. And that ultimately will give us a good roughness average, which is well within our spec, okay? So this is something that not a lot of people get to see. Most engine builders do not have the tools or the knowledge to do this. But since we developed this along with LN Engineering, we've come up with our own values and our own way of doing a lot of this stuff. So just wanted to kind of bring you into our world here as we're basically getting ready to finish bolting together the crankcase halves of Bill's engine today. Uh, a lot of goes into this. If you guys have been following this process, you've seen that, you know, we can't build one of these engines in just a few hours. We have to take days to do the level of work that we do with one of these engines. Um, and that's no, certainly no understatement when it comes to something like an R40 that gets all the detail work um, and gets a lot of unique things like a completely different connecting rod than we typically use, which is basically our flat six R40 branded rods that uh, are made for us by Carrillo. Uh, so just wanted to kind of go live this morning and show you guys a little bit of what we've got going on in the engine room here. Follow us as we continue to finish Bill's R40 at 4.0. Hello everybody, Jake Raby here. Now I'd like to welcome you to the Rendition Technical Channel here on YouTube. And on this channel, you'll learn about all kinds of things. You'll learn about everything from Porsche engines to vintage Volkswagens, other stuff about vintage Volkswagens, not just the engines. You'll learn about things like this 1942 M2A1 half track as an example. So once again, I wanna thank you for viewing all the content here on Rendition. I want to invite you to spend more time with us. I want to bring you into my world. 
want to help you understand a little bit more about what makes us tick, what we do, how we do it, and why. So certainly join us and let's have some fun together.